Hi Diary, um, I hope the camera's on. Well, I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if you can. Do you see all that snow and that kind of like <clears throat> mountain in the distance? Well, we've sort of come up from the bottom. We've climbed 1900 meters. It's the end of the Glacier 3000 run. Uh, that's the finish area down here. And uh, you can see down there some people coming in, number 425 and 399. So, uh, how was it for me? Well, uh, at the end it wasn't too bad, but about five uh, kilometres from the end it was pretty awful. Um, I really thought I'd overdone it and I was kind of struggling for, for motivation. Um, like most of the people, we were walking, but when the gradient ever got down a bit, we would sort of start to run. I think that's the way that you do these things. Um, but the thing that saved the day was uh, Coca-Cola, because uh, there were two stops um, a few kilometres from the end, and uh, I had some full fat, or I, hope, I presume it was full fat Coca-Cola, and felt a whole lot better. So I must remember that uh, at the end of a race, look out for Coca-Cola. Uh, makes wonders. Um, on the race we had uh, gels quite a lot of the time which meant that really I didn't need to uh, bring all that gel. Uh, still uh, SOS gels were nice. The gels that we had were the uh, Nestle Power Bar gels uh, which as you remember you had to take with water. So oh yeah the time yeah yeah still a bit disorientated. I think I'm around about three hours 45. Uh, I'm not sure if that's good or not, we'll look at everybody else's times and then make a better decision. Um, so all very happy, um, the guard has probably finished uh, by now, um, I'm just looking down, I can't actually see her, but I'm guessing she's finished. Um, oh yes, can you see in the distance, that's our route, they, uh, right over there, you see all those runners in the distance straight ahead, coming, and then it goes down at the end, and then all the way up again. So, uh, doesn't take any prisoners. Uh, like I said, the last 10 kilometres, as, as we knew from the, uh, the plan, it's going to be tough, and it, it certainly was. Uh, and then about actually about three kilometres from the end, the boots and shoes having been totally dry, I actually, uh, well me and the person in front, actually found this enormous pothole of water. It was about half a metre deep. Uh, she went in first and I just went straight in, straight ahead as well. So ended up with, with rather wet, shoe, uh, so wet shoes and socks, but uh, yeah, we're finished now, so all is well. Perfect, let's try and find a gasser.